In this video, we will be demonstrating the basic operation of the control panel for the MI100. Working from left to right of the basic keyboard, you will notice that it is broken down into six sections. In the first column, the machine has three LED lights to show that power is connected and that there are no malfunctions indicated by the lower LED light. This light will be red if there is a problem with the machine. In the second section, we are showing the selected tool the operator is using. This will automatically change when the user switches tools. The third section is the control for the multifunction tool, featuring single side spot welding, stud welding from 4 to 6 millimeters, washer and rivet welding, dent pulling, and carbon rod shrinking. In the fourth section, we choose the material thickness. When the thickness is adjusted, you will notice in the power display settings that the recommended power setting automatically adjusts for that thickness. For most applications, we recommend setting the thickness to the thinner of the two sheets. The fifth section is the manual power adjustment. We recommend here you use the suggested power setting, which is automatically determined by the previous parameters you entered. You should only adjust the power setting if you are not getting enough weld penetration, which can be shown by doing a destructive peel test. In the last section, we will be selecting the material type. There are three basic options, coated materials such as zinc, multiple layers, and high strength steels. For example, if we are welding on a coated material such as zinc, we will select the coated material icon. These keys can be used in combination such as zinc coated and multi-layered. Before operating this or any machinery, please read and understand the instruction manual and use proper safety protection. For further information, please visit our video library or our website at www.electron-inc.com.